Welcome back, and today we're going to review the DiGiorno hand toss style crust pizza. So, if you enjoy my videos, hit the like, subscribe. We're at 16 subscribers right now. So, like, my best videos I feel like is the DiGiorno reviews. So, that's why I bought another DiGiorno. And one thing that I like always kind of nitpicky on is the crust of pizza. So, this is hand tossed. So, so hopefully, this is like really good. So, let's see what it looks like. Oh, good. Has a way you can open it. Well, they tried. Are right, this what it looks like? It's like octagon, pentagon <laughs> shaped. That's what it looks like. Wow, it's it's fluffy. I'm kind of liking it already. It's this is what kind of I mean the kind of crust I like. Yeah, this already looks pretty good, and not much fell off. So it's like they wrapped it good too. Well, a little bit fell off. Now all the pepperoni is perfectly in the spot. I guess because it's it's still frozen. All right, the cooking instructions. This is what it says the, for the cooking instructions. All right, so it says preheat to 375, uh, while frozen, uh, place directly on the center rack, and bake for 18 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't, I mean a little bit, it hangs off. All right, this one cooked the entire time. Usually pizzas are done earlier, but this one, full 18 minutes. And this is what it looks like. Try to get a picture for a thumbnail. I keep changing these thumbnails till I am happy with the design. So focus on the pizza. It's so hard to tell if it's a focus on the pizza or focus on me. The way I put it is it should be focused like right there, hopefully. But this pizza looks uh looks and smells pretty good. I said let the pizza sit for um five minutes, which I will. All right, it's been five minutes, so now let's cut it. Whoa, it's very soft. I'm already liking the crust. It's like the first actual soft crust for the DiGiorno that I'm gonna taste. Put it this way. No, so I can read the ingredients. Should I, I think about backing up the camera just so I can get myself in the frame? I had to get lower. Okay, hopefully it's cold enough. I mean, cooled down enough. Yeah, look at the crust. Look at that. Nice and fluffy. It's going to burn my mouth. See the steam coming off it? Oh, by far the best crust this journal has. It's nice and fluffy. And on fire. Look at that crust. Try it. Yeah, by far the best the genre crust I've tasted. 
the cross um the croissant crust on screen that one's pretty good but i feel like that one was super thick like this is good let me try the pepperoni it's so hot that's i'm not gonna bite into the sauce again i mean it tastes like the all the dijon pepperonis they're good Here's the one thing I don't like. See the cheese right here? It has like the sus cheese. The cheese that gets crunchy when it's not supposed to get crunchy. I mean, I mean, cheese melts. This cheese never melted. It went from cheese to crunchy. So I'm wondering, does it have a cheese blend? Because it says all, what's the advertising? Made, look right here. 100% real, so 100% of it should be real. So maybe, um, let's see, okay, it says, um, okay, so the first ingredient is the flour, a bunch of ingredients in the flour. Low moisture part, skin mozzarella, okay. Pepperoni, okay. This is interesting, why? Tomato sauce. What kind of mozzarella does this? I mean, they don't have any additional. It says low moisture mozzarella and then it goes pepperoni. Now, what kind of cheese does this? I mean, mozzarella does not do this. Maybe it's so low moisture. I don't know, but I believe them it's mozzarella. Okay. I mean, they're not going to lie. Well, who knows? Let's try the sauce. Yeah, good DiGiorno sauce. It's uh, sweet. I mean, there's flavor in there. The crust is good. But kind of a lot of crust. I'm, I'm really picky on the crust. It's good. By far the best DiGiorno crust they have. But it's still, still too thick. There's um, one more DiGiorno pizza I want to uh, taste. It's thin crust, DiGiorno. Maybe that one is using this crust, but thinner. But this is good. It tastes like, the crust tastes like bread. Like, like, like good bread. Like, um, I would assume maybe a French bread or Italian bread. I mean, that's what it tastes like. I mean, this crust is really good. It's crunchy, you know, you can hear it. I mean, yeah, this crust is good. I mean, the best DiGiorno crust this is what it looks like. That I've tasted yet. I mean, look at this. Focus. See, I mean, look at this. It does that because there's yeast. I mean, this is good. It tastes like French bread or Italian bread. You know those baguettes? Um, they get from the store like a dollar, maybe even more than that. But they're like freshly baked and they're like thin like this. And they're like wrapped in this long thing, whatever they're called. Then they're French bread or Italian bread. But that's what it tastes like. Really good. Man, my feet hurting. <laughs> so the so the bread finally, finally a DiGiorno bread that I like. How much does it cost? I gotta rate this on the cost now. All right. All right, DiGiorno Pizza 7, 27. Somewhere in the middle. Where is it? Right here. Focus, 7, 27. So it's kind of on the pricey side, kind of on the pricey side, because, um, I mean, hmm, maybe not. Maybe competitive, because other pizza are like $6 or something. But the crust is good. Sauce is good. I don't know why the cheese does this. I remember one of the Giorno pizzas I had, the cheese didn't do this. So maybe, maybe because it's coated, maybe because it's pretty sliced. Who knows? Who knows why it's doing that?
But like the worst part about pizza, the one the part of the pizza that makes you like gain weight and become overweight is the crust. That's why I don't always eat all the crust. Excuse me, but th yeah, this is good by far the best like everything is on point here I'm trying to see is anything wrong with this pizza no Maybe I'm I mean I'm kind of picking on the cheese right here But does it stretch? Kind of I mean, it rips. But the cheese. Yes, it, it stretches a little bit. Yeah, crust is really good. Pepperoni is good. The cheese is like the only thing that's not perfect. I don't remember what I read the last dish on those. So by far this is the best dish I've tried so far. This is what underneath the crust looks like. So it looks like a regular pizza. Can they improve on this? I want to know what you guys think about the cheese. I mean, are you guys this critical about the cheese? I mean, it's... I mean, it's tearing. It could be because, I mean, the same reason why the cheese is tearing, I would assume the same reason why the cheese does this on the crust. It's whatever the uh, cheese supplier they have. Cause like all the cheese I have, like, like the cheddar cheese, like pepper jack cheese, all of it stretches, all of it. So it just could be the cheese supplier, whatever cheese they use. I'm just tearing apart this pizza. Yeah, I, like I try to avoid this cause I feel like ever since I started doing pizza reviews, I put on some weight. Like, I used to be keto-friendly. Still try to be keto-friendly. Keto-friendly just means low-carb. This is what the sauce looks like. Sauce is good. Sauce is really good. It's nice and sweet. I feel like a sweet sauce. I guess I'm going to eat all this pizza before I review it. Maybe I should do that. Just eat the entire pizza. Yeah, finally like the crust on the journal. So the next piece I want to review is the uh, the thin crust the journal. I mean, cause look at this cheese. I don't know. It has to be the brand of cheese. I want to kind of check my other videos on the journal because I'm pretty sure it didn't do this with the um. With the, um, what's it called? The croissant crust. But could be, because here's the problem. When they slice the cheese, they usually coat it with something. Cellulose or something. And this could be it. Because here's, here's what happens. If you want to make a cheese sauce, 
Never use pre-sliced cheese in a cheese sauce because it doesn't melt good and it tastes it doesn't taste as good. I mean, this can't get better. I don't even remember what I wrote, what I reviewed the other DiGiorno's. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I should make a list. Yeah, I wish I knew where I reviewed the other pizzas, but it, that shouldn't matter, you know. But can this get better? Maybe, maybe the cheese, but it's pre-sliced cheese, and maybe like they're. I don't believe they're lying about it. I mean, this is a hundred percent real cheese. I don't believe they're lying about that. I believe, and there's no additional ingredients. It says low moisture mozzarella. I never buy low moisture mozzarella. I always buy. I mean. It says low moisture part skim. Okay, so part skim means it's using skim milk, which is like less fatty. I always get whole milk mozzarella. So it just could be cheese culture. I mean, that's what's how they make mozzarella. I mean, this can't get better as far. I mean, the crust, I always complain about the crust on the DiGiorno's. And crust is great. Is this a 9 out of 10? I think it is. Hmm. Yeah, this is a 9 out of 10 DiGiorno. So if you enjoyed my videos, hit the like, subscribe, and I'm out.